So, it's me, your little boy, Kisamsen. I have this message to give us this money. You know, God is about to cause confusion. <laughs> Let me just be real with you. God is about to cause confusion in the camps of your enemies. In the camp of those who decide to rise up against you. In the camp of those who decide to mess up with you, you know. To take you for granted. Listen, after this video, you will realize that God is with you. <laughs> maybe you have been thinking, where is my God? Or maybe you have been thinking, ah, does that mean God have not, you don't want to, you know, do stuff with me? Or does that mean God have rejected me? What have I done? What is the cost? Maybe sometimes you watch mirror like this, you take it like this, you watch yourself, you say, ah, I'm beautifully made. I'm, I'm okay, God is working, but you don't understand that it's deeper than what you think. <coughs> Sorry for the cough. You know, sometimes... Take a mirror and imagine how beautiful, how handsome you are. And that is why sometimes many people hate you. Because they are no more deeper than you know yourself. Let me just be real with you. Sometimes many of us may think, ah, you know, uh, I know within myself I'm powerful. God has made me his own image. God has made me his own likeness. But it's deeper than the likeness you are thinking about. <laughs> it's deeper. That is why some people will hate you. Even without you being having what having quarrel or offending them or doing them anything or having any argument with them or you know coming coming to a point where you feel like people who you think that will support you will suddenly start to hate you because sometimes there's something that they discover that is in you that they, they themselves will be what will be confused why will you be helping someone who is more what more powerful more what more greater that is going to be more successful than us. Hey God, you know when they are gathered, think about it. When they are gathered all oh, for your sake, they scatter also for your sake. When they gang go up and said, Ah, we are going to destroy this guy. Ah, we are going to sabotage his blessing. We are going to sabotage everything that concerns him. We are not happy that he's making it. And they end up sabotaging their own blessing. They end up destroying their own things. They end up destroying everything that they have do or that they have laid down. Because their mindset was that they are going to be able to frustrate you. They are going to be able to destroy you. They are going to be able to do you harm. They are going to be able to do you bad, do you this, do you that. That is all their mindset. That is all that they have. That is all they thought. But what really hurt them is that despite of all that they have arranged behind you, you know, all that they have done behind the scene, they get shock of their life. Why? Because touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. So God caused confusion that make them, when they gather, they scatter. And at the end, you got to realize, let, let's just sit down and think. And if it is watch plot, you will watch. Just Google it, take a clock and watch how many people that they have, that have do or that they have left your life without you offending them. How many people you can do it, you can just imagine. Take, ah, how long have these people be, what, be with me? What have I done that make them to leave? You, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it sounds it, 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 it sound like sometimes many of us don't come to realize that many of these people who have left for our life will never give us the accurate reason or our offense or the things that we have done that make them to leave. Why? Because they are, uh, they are scared to tell you what they have done in the secret, in the dark, that make them to leave. Let me just be real with you. Like those days when I was at home, my dad used to tell me sometimes, so certain things. He said, the more the clock run every day, the more the enemies, many of them watch how successful you are working, how successful you are becoming. They are doing your this because God does not just keep them around you for keeping sake. Even when they come around, God is aware. That is why sometimes many of them will come and watch how successful or tell, many of them will use their what their evil what evil setup, even their com, evil computer, all the magic. Many of them will use all manners of things to be monitoring how successful you are doing. Some of them will take mirror like this to watch how how you are going to make it. And they will try to come and cause a sunder. And cost you frustration and cost you what things that you never expect to get from them. 
But what really shocked them is that after all that they did, you still no go strike. <laughs> you keep doing it. You keep expanding. And at the end, they gather for your sake. God caused confusion that lead them to do what? To scatter. Some of them will be like, ah, oh my God, what happened? Ah, we have already concluded that we are going to destroy them. We have already made up our mind. We have already concluded it. But how, what happened? What is the cause? Who is the cause? What caused this? When we have already what, uh, made up or meet all our necessary, what, our necessary needs to, do or to, to destroy them. How come suddenly uh, uh, confusion just come around us? Why? Because the Bible said he watched over the chosen. He prepared the table before Lord, before us, right in the presence of our haters. That means, even if they are with us or they are not with us, God is always with us. And whom God is with, my brother, what happened? No man can be against. <laughs> Let me just be real with you. When God is with you, not, not even what your enemy can succeed in all that they do. That is why most times many of them will say, hey, well, let's do it. Let's, you know, let, let's do this. We are going to be able to frustrate them. We are going to be able to destroy them. We are going to be able to cause, you know, all these things. But at the end, the Lord do what he is capable of doing. He always confuses them. They can't go for your sake. And at the end, they, they, they scatter for your sake. <laughs> That's what the word of God makes me to understand. God said to Moses, he said, place the blood. You know, he didn't ask Moses more. He said, take the blood of animal. Place it in the front wall. Place it in all doors that when I am passing by, <laughs> I will not touch my people. That is when, when God look at you, he said, oh my God. Oh my God. This is the apple of my eyes. The word, the sugar in my word, in my cupboard, <laughs> the, the only that I place in my mouth, you know, the, the chain, chain that kill it, the, the one that I am well pleased of. And you look at someone, someone will just be coming like a cockroach. Someone will just be coming like a cat. I, I, I'm going to strike the, the God chosen. I, I'm going to frustrate the anointed one. He called himself, she called herself uh, an anointed one, a chosen one. Can't you don't know that as long as we are not choosing like you, we are not going to give you peace. We are not going to allow you to have peace. God will just look at them. Look, look, look at these things. No, just look at these things. That, that I want to frustrate my, my apple in my own prison. God will just take them and say, these people, Get out. <laughs> you know, see, he caused conflict. He make conflict. He that's why I tell people. When people said they will come, they will destroy you, they will betray you. Or when you when you when you come to figure out that people around you start to misbehave, gang up against you, you don't need to bother yourself. Because Father have means to do it to frustrate them. God have ways to do or to cause conflict. It's just like the dream that I was, you know, in my dream today. So I was in that dream. It's just like they are throwing some certain things. And the thing that we are throwing is just like this. But it was designed in a form with different word, uh, with different design. Then I was like gathering the design, gathering. It's just like a wood, a block, a, a blood board like this, but in a four corner. Then I was gathering it, gathering it. Then the next thing. It was just like a magic. The other one was just coming, you know, rolling like a magic. And nothing was pushing. I said, what, what kind of... <laughs> I fall it down. <laughs> because I was annoyed in the dream. So what am I trying to say is this. God knows the fake people around you. And God knows the real one. Because sometimes when God is about to bless you, the enemy around you do what? Know it even before you. Let me just be real with you. They know it, but some of them will be coming to tell you the fake, fake thing. That's why God will tell them, mm, "Come on, cut out! You're not, you're not, you're not supposed to be around with my, with my, with my choosing because uh, so uh, garbages must only move with garbages. Failures must move with failures. Liabilities must move with liabilities. Choosing go with choosing. So I am the God of choosing ones. So I move and I, add, I, I am." The final say, I, I, I let and I dis, I let. 
So you are not permitted to be in my life. And some of them, some of us will be just, it will be like, eh, this person is supposed to be in my life. <laughs> this person is supposed to be in my life. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Anytime someone good come into my life, they always move without no reason. <laughs> Does that mean I'm not me? I'm not beautiful, man? Does that mean I'm not special in med? Does that mean I am the cost? My brother, you are not the cost. God is the cost. <laughs> when God was about to bless Esther, he caused confusion around. When God was about to turn the life of David, he reduced so. <laughs> My brother, sometimes... You don't need to complain. You need to let go. Learn how to let go so that you can let in. You got what I'm saying? <laughs> you need to learn how to go because empty vessels ought not to be around you. Let me just be real with you. The word may sound, word, may sound crazy, but that is just the fact truth. Empty vessels ought not to be in your life choosing one. That's why God will look at some people. Their life will be like this. Ah, God said, no, no, no. This was a making noise. No, they're supposed not to be with my what, with my choosing. They're supposed not to be with my people. God will just look at you and say, no, I will not break you. I will not destroy you. Ah, if Even if I decide now to recreate or put effort, you are empty in all. Let me just take you out. It will just... <laughs> separate you. So, so, so God, God, I need this person. My brother, God must surely remove some categories of people before he do what he knows in doing. Yes, the reason why I am who I am right now is because of people whom God deleted in my life. I'm not saying that uh, uh, I'm not. Freedom is what I'm talking about. Freedom. You know what I'm saying? Freedom is what I'm talking about. In 2017 stroke, 2019, I have no freedom. Nothing like freedom. Hey, <laughs> God. You know, sometimes that's why I always pray that nobody in this, my platform, nor my friends, will encounter what I do, what I pass through. And that is my prayer every day. That let God preserve you from fake people. Let God lead you to a point where it will not come to a point where you, you people, where people will make their life as a make you as if without them you will not live or where it will come to a point where you will not be in that level where you will be begging for people for something that you need in order for you to go to the other level that let god continue to bless everything you do whether it's little or big that you will not go to that point where people will make you feel like without them you won't succeed that is all my prayer for you all that the same God who do it for me will do it for you. Remember bless. You know what I'm saying? Remember bless me. God bless you. I love you. It's me, your boy. Kisabase. You know how we do it. Remember bless, brothers. May God bless you. You know what I'm saying? God is the cost of all these things. He caused confusion in order for him to elevate you. It's not to kill you. It's not to destroy you. Why? Because he have a greater plan ahead of you. Remember bless. I love you. And I will keep loving you. Love rain forever. Remember